welcome back to TBRD. This week on the vlog, we're gonna be taking a look at how to adjust your motorcycle's clutch cable free play. Uh, a very basic but very important uh, maintenance task. If you are new to the vlog or if you're a subscriber, you already know that I am no mechanic. Uh, I'm not even remotely mechanically inclined, as you would say. And that's a good thing uh, because if I'm able to perform these tasks and show you, you should be able to perform them uh, with ease uh, on your own motorcycle in your own garage. I'll be making a playlist of some of these basic uh, routine maintenance tasks. So if you have uh, any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments, or if there's something that you'd like to see demonstrated, leave that in the comments below as well. So let's get on with this so we can take a look at how to adjust the free play in your clutch lever. All right, so motorcycle clutches require the right amount of play in the clutch lever in order to work correctly. Too little slack and the clutch plates won't squeeze together fully with the lever all the way out. This is bad because it can lead to damage to your clutch plates or it can cause the clutch to slip, which in turn will lead to damage to your clutch plates, which can result in a costly repair. Conversely, if you have too much slack, the clutch won't fully disengage when you pull the lever in. This can become a problem because what's gonna happen is you're gonna to start to have problems shifting or in severe cases, when you have the clutch lever pulled in, if there's too much free play in the clutch cable itself, you're gonna feel the bike start to creep uh, when you have the clutch pulled in and it's in gear. All right, now that we know why it's important to adjust our clutch lever free play, let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure that your bike is cold because when the engine is hot, the clutch plates will expand and it can throw off your measurements. So you wanna make sure that your motorcycle is cold and you can see that my bike is up on the center stand because you wanna have your handlebars straight. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick adjustment using the barrel adjusters up here on the handlebars. There's actually two places that you can adjust the free play of your clutch cable. Every bike should have a barrel adjustment which is up here on the handlebars that I'm gonna show you more closely in just a minute. And there's also another adjustment down by the engine. There's a lock nut adjustment that you can make for uh, probably more major adjustments. Your minor or smaller adjustments for your day-to-day, -day, you can use the barrel adjuster. If you cannot bring your clutch cable free play into spec with the barrel adjuster, then you're gonna to need to use the lock nuts that are down by the engine. So a good rule of thumb when you're adjusting your clutch is about three to five millimeters of free play. Now you're gonna to wanna to check your motorcycle manual for the exact specifications on your bike. On this 2020 BMW S1000XR, it so happens that the exact specifications are three to five millimeters of free play in the clutch lever. And when I say free play, I'm referring to the point where the clutch sits as you start to pull it in until you start to feel that pressure point or where the clutch, gonna, where the clutch is gonna to start to engage. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to check in your manual is how frequently that you need to make this adjustment. Truth be told, because it's a basic task, you're gonna start being able to do this by feel without having to measure it. But the first couple of times you do it, you're probably gonna to wanna to take a measurement. It's better actually to have too much slack than too little, because if, it's, uh, if there's not enough slack, as I said, it can, cause, uh, it can cause clutch slip and excess wear, or it can cause your plates in your clutch to actually glaze, which is gonna damage them and, and result in a costly repair. All right, so the barrel adjustment on this BMW, there's actually two, two nuts. There's this, this one over here, which you wanna loosen up. And if your clutch is too loose, so right now, so right now, if you look at my clutch, it's too loose. There's too much play there. That is way more than three to five millimeters. In fact, if I measure it, I'm gonna measure from the top and I'll show you a picture of the manual that shows you how to do this. But when I pull that, we're looking at mm, almost two times as much movement as there should be. So we're gonna take a look at how to adjust that. On this bike, you're gonna loosen up this first nut, and then the second one, if I wanna make it tighter, I'm gonna rotate it out. So I'm gonna screw it in that direction. And once I've done that, I can lock up this first one again, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna check to see if that's tightened it up enough. I can already see that it is not. It's still way too loose. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna loosen this first nut back up. 
And we're going to keep making an adjustment on this one. Probably didn't work the first time because I was turning it the wrong way. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a mechanic. All right, we're going to go ahead and check this now. That's a lot better. I can already tell. So I'm just taking my... I just have a, it's not a ruler, but basically a ruler. It's marked off in millimeters at the bottom. And I'm checking from the top of where my clutch is at. And I'll send you, or I'll, I'll put a picture from the manual in this video. And I'm checking to see when I pull it. That's about perfect. Let me check that one more time. Yeah. That's about seven or eight millimeters. And I'm actually really comfortable with where that's at for my feel. Uh, as I said, I like the air on the side of it being a little looser uh, so that I'm not running it too tight, causing the clutch to slip, which I think you would recognize pretty quickly when you're riding the bike. Now, as I said, if you can't get the clutch lever uh, and the cable free play into spec based off of the barrel adjustments, there's another adjuster that's down here on the side of the motorcycle. So you're going to see this on any motorcycle, but on this BMW, it's a little bit of a difficult uh, place to get to. So you'll see right here, there's a barrel adjustment that you can see. I know my lighting's a little off, but you can see right here, there's a barrel adjustment and it kind of slides under this piece of plastic. So if I was going to adjust it, I would probably have to take this, this plastic off. Now, the good news is this is only for major adjustments. Your minor adjustments can be completed right on the barrel, barrel adjuster, as I just showed you. All right, so that's the basics of how to adjust your clutch cable free play. And doing this simple maintenance task could potentially save you a lot of dollars in repair so that you don't damage the clutch plates or have to do a replacement on part or a total clutch replacement. Uh, and it's really simple. The one thing you're going to want to do is check your owner's manual for how frequently you need to perform this, uh, this routine task. On this BMW S1000XR, it actually says that it's done at every 6,000 mile service. I'm going to tell you though, it's going to need done more frequently than that. I've got uh, just under 4,000 miles on the bike and I've had to adjust mine twice now. So as I said, you're probably not going to need to take measurements on this the more frequently that you do it. And a good rule of thumb, like I said, three to five millimeters in terms of the amount of free play in the clutch lever. And another good rule of thumb is probably to check it about every 1,000 miles. All right, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below in the video. And if this was helpful or you thought the video was well done, I ask that you like and consider subscribing. As I like to say, until next time, keep the throttle back, the rubber down, and enjoy the ride.